ball. Cuesta takes it out of bounds. I would say Cuesta probably has somewhat of a fantastic four going on. They just kind of. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So there's Chadwick right now around the perimeter. She has to pick on both sides on Cynthia Hernandez, <laughs> and everybody picks up. So she ends up getting the shot off. Oh. Air ball into the hands of Sam Meyer, and Cynthia Hernandez brings it in. Uh, one of the few times uh, Lisa Marie Sanchez has gotten a break for the Pirates, yeah. and uh, Hernandez is running the offense right now, one-on-one -on -one with Chadwick. Now this is top. really where Hernandez shines, I think. She's really good at just pushing it down the center. So there's a steal right there. Ooh. Sapinski <laughs> uh, tips control. it away, but Sam Meyer gets back and gets it. As I think uh, I think Johnson and Zabinski <laughs> were canceling each other out, allowing Meyer <laughs> to get to the ball right there. Yeah. So I think you're going to see the Cougars right here. This is their last dis desperate desperate attempt. They've got to get some some baskets going. Yeah. They're going to push it. They're going to see if they can muscle it in there. I think. See if they can work. There's Palma. Palm with four fouls, oh. and nobody under the basket for the Cougars. You know, you know, you got to work. You got your score, your leading score right there, and nobody looks to rebound. Yeah. Uh, and now we're back under two minutes. The score remains 13, 13 points. Ventura's favorite. Uh, Cougars have not been able to crack that barrier. Uh, they've got it down to 11, but that was it. So Hernandez bouncing her way off Chadwick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just <laughs> hip, act, hip check, hip check, hip check yeah. until Chadwick was out of her way. Yeah. And uh, then she throws the pass away, and the Cougars bring it up. So 135 remaining. Ventura 58, Quest of 45 is our score. See what they can do with this. So Zabinski, the ball up top, taking her time. At, uh, this would seem time to be more urgent. Down to Brewster in the corner, forces a pass yeah. over Johnson. And... Uh, yeah, you know, it'd be nice to get it into Johnson, but I don't think he wants Zabinski to pull pull up uh, right there. I want no. you, you want to keep that ball in her hands. Yeah. As the Pirates have Sanchez back in, and she's just going to control this ball. I don't think you're going to see much no. from the Pirates the rest of the way. Oh, uh, Brewster gets a steal. Out. And Cougars force it out of bounds again. Uh, Aaron passed by Zabinski, and you see Zabinski just biting her lip. Yeah. She's she's. <laughs> not playing, not getting a chance to play her game. Yeah. She has not been a. You see the remnants of the frustration, but the fire is all but gone. As we're winding we are down. under a minute now. Last uh, minute. And uh, Sanchez is just going to hold on to this ball. You know, the Cougars, uh, the, I think the real lesson the Cougars are going to get is, is make sure you keep your, keep a square up and not get a little bit over anxious, which I, which I think they were before this game. Yeah. Because it played. So they got a little over emotional. And, uh, you know, a lot of the people were talking about the team being here at the game in their uniforms before the men's game started at 5. Right. Uh, they were ready Raring to play. Raring to go. Yeah. They, they've been, uh, and then they had to cool the Jets for two hours as the men played. Yeah. So uh, there, there's a lot of anxiety, I think, that's building up there. And it, and it showed. They came out there strong. Uh -huh. And then uh, they got a little slow down there at the yeah. end of the first half. And that's the difference. That, I mean, that, that first half score is the difference in this game right now. Now, do you do you sense maybe even a level of overconfidence? No, no, no. I, no? I, I think they understand this. Uh, you know, Ventura is not somebody you can get overconfident with. You're talking right. about the number two team in the state. Uh, we were talking about earlier. The last time Ventura lost to Cuesta College was 1995. Right, right. Uh, but again, that was a fourth place Cuesta College team in, in conference uh -huh. uh, that didn't make the playoffs. And the Pirates were number two then. So, right. So maybe things were lining up. Maybe they weren't. Uh, the Pirates are number two in the state a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so 1995 being the last time that Cuesta had them, and they were number two. And that was the last time Cuesta beat them. And uh, Cuesta's going to go to another year right. unless somehow the two teams meet in the playoffs. The heavens open. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and and that, I think both these teams are, you know, everybody's expecting Ventura to be tough in the playoffs. But yeah. I think uh, Cuesta matches up very well if they can come out there and, and – uh, Business like they can do their stuff. Yeah, they are a tough, tough matchup because of the style they play. Mm -hmm. You don't make the top twenty in the state uh, unless you are a tough team. Yeah, and this is, this team has done great. We talked about uh, Katie Katie Rodriguez getting hurt before the beginning of the season. Their point guard, and they've done this all without a point guard. Oh yeah, yeah. So this is a 
This pretty amazing season for the Cougars. Yeah, not an easy feat. To end the regular season, 19 and 10, as the Pirates improved to 27 to three, um, and uh, with a 58-45 victory to end the regular season. Congratulations to the Ventura Pirates. They win the Western State Conference. And your Quest Cougars, uh, second place in the Western State Conference. Great season. Um, well, if you can say anything, it's that they pulled it together. They done something. They gotten further than they've gotten a long time. And so, you know, next season, we'll see how they do. Yeah, this is a historical season. Uh, two sophomores on the team. Uh, so this this could really bounce back. They'll have Rodriguez, their, their all-conference point guard, who they lost last year, right. uh, back next year. So they're going to have, if they have, can bring Rodriguez back. Uh -huh. They bring Zabinski back. They bring Chadwick back. Right. They have three, <laughs> right, three exactly. legitimate scores. They have their stars. They can play some good, strong defense. So, uh, you know, we talk about uh, Ron, Ron Barber coming in here. Uh, the team was 4-21 and 21 the year before he got here. Right. He only won one more game the next year, <laughs> going 5-20. and 20. Last year, 13-14. and 14. Uh -huh. You can see the progression coming on there. I think right. he's really developing something here, uh, turning it uh, his style. Quested a long time under Ed Musoff. Had played a very slow paced half-court defense-oriented team. Uh -huh. uh, now this is an attack offensive-oriented team. Right. Uh, we talk about you know we talk about Alyssa Palma ranks number two all time in, in, in career yeah, score at thirteen point two, yeah. which is a nice number, but it's not a huge number. But that gives you the idea of the offensive output uh -huh. that Quested was receiving right. earlier in, right. in, in, in the uh, other era. Yeah. So uh, that does it for here for us, uh, Brandon Sodenkamp. Thank you very much uh, for joining me here. Uh, your Quest Cougars me. fall in both men's and women's to the Ventura Pirates. Uh, women lose 58-45. All four teams we saw here tonight, uh, the Ventura Pirates men's and women's teams and Quest College of men's and women's teams will all expect to play in the playoffs, uh, which start next Wednesday with play-in play -in games and Friday and Saturday. So we'll see if we'll let you know uh, if we get into the postseason and we're going to host. We'll be back here on the air. If not, we'll <laughs> catch us on the road. Thank you very much for joining us tonight with Cuesta TV. Uh, Check us all the time out, all the time on Charter 19, County Office of Education Channel. Thank good you very evening. Not, very much. Good night.